Universal Studios Orlando or Universal Orlando is just a wonderful place. You've got everything from the Hard Rock Cafe to Harry Potter, from Jimmy Fallon's ride to some great music and food. It's an active, active place. But Indiana's first park, or Florida's first park, excuse me, is actually just a few miles away. And it's a place where you'll have beautiful music, incredible gardens, and peace. When I drive in, I always see the tower and I take a deep breath. It's just 37 miles from Disney World, but it might as well be a thousand miles away. Your natural inclination is to just kind of relax and say, wow, what a place this is. And that was exactly the vision Edward Bach had 90 years ago when he created this oasis on Florida's highest point. 250 acres surrounding the park's main attraction. A gleaming stone tower that sings. I mean, everything is aligned. It's just a perfect spot for musician, but also for listeners. It almost is like a broadcast tower. Geert de Hollander performs daily on what is considered the finest carillon in the world. And I know he hates the term, but he does seem like a rock star. <laughs> He's an international rock star. A rock star that is heard, but rarely seen. Very few get to walk through the tower's massive bronze door. Almost no one gets to visit Garrett's Carillon studio 20 stories up. I was lucky enough to do both. It's a sanctuary. It's so peaceful. It's beautiful. You can, you can whisper on this instrument. Everybody hears everything. And you have people who literally come from all over the world to hear him play at the tower. They do, to just enjoy the gardens, to take the stroll, and this is a place that's unlike anywhere else in the world. Gives me chills just experiencing it again, folks. The Bach Tower and Gardens, you've got to go if you've never been. And by the way, Ben, I want to thank photographer Steve Roach for this incredible piece. He was along with me on this trip. There have only been four Carillon players in Bach Tower in its history. The next one may be Geert's daughter. She's 13 years old. If she will be the next player, she would be the first woman ever to do that. And she's already training for it right now. It's, it's a tremendous story. Yeah, making history, and she sounds like a prodigy already. No pressure, Chuck, at 13 to say, hey, you're the next in line to do this. <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, we're going to be back here for the wild action at Universal coming up in a little bit. Alyssa and I have some real treats for you. Oh, we can't wait, Chuck. Thank you very much. We'll see you in just a bit. First, the well-known